What up? It's Snowflake. Uh, what am I going to show you today? Oh, yes. I'm going to show you how to use MPEG Stream Clip again. Only this time I'm going to show you how to do a batch list or a batch export. So if you've got a lot of files and you want to export them all at once or you want to walk away while it's doing it, this is what you do. Go over here and you open up your free program called MPEG Stream Clip that can be downloaded at www.squared5.com and you go up here into list. See this? Batch list. Or you can use a shortcut, Command B. But I'm just going to select it there. All right. So first, we're going to go add files. Now, on my hard drive and in my export uh, bin, I have a folder called Final. And this is where I do my final exports. This is after everything, lower thirds have been added, anything if audio needed to be boosted or anything, it's like my final export. So I'm gonna select all of these files and hit to batch or just hit enter, okay? Now in here you can choose a task and you can do all sorts of different type of exports, right? You can do this convert, export audio, export to AVI, all the stuff that MPEG Stream Clip offers. I'm going to do export to MPEG-4. Actually, I'll just show you what I do. I do multiple things all at once because it's just a batch list, so you just let it go, right? So export to MPEG-4 and hit OK. Now, um, in here, uh, and I create a new folder called MP4 because that's where my MPEG-4s are going to go, and I select it. And this is selecting your export location. So I'm selecting a folder where all of the new files are, go are going to be exported. Now, you guys, if you saw my last tutorial, you've seen this window before. This is where you're going to select your data rate and everything. So the compression is going to stay at H.264. Um, we're going to limit the data rate instead of doing quality. Now, I'm going to do two different exports, um, two different batches of, of MPEG-4. So I'm going to do a, like a standard def, and I'm going to do an HD version. So I'm going to do different bit rates for each one, because as the dimensions get smaller, the bit rate you need um, becomes less, and it also is going to create a smaller file. So, uh, for the first batch, I'm going to do 1500 as the bit rate, um, and this is the kilobits per second, right? Sound, I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to change it here to 128. That's all you really need for this. And then I'm going to change the frame size to other, and I'm going to change this to 640 by 360, okay? And that's just like a, a smaller dimension, standard depth uh, window. Okay, now uh, in here, after I've done my export, all my exports are using the um, reverse telecine option in Compressor. So I also have a tutorial on that uh, if you'd like to check that out. But what that means is my final um, QuickTimes that I'm exporting are all 24 frames per second. They're no longer interlaced. They're all progressive. So I deselect this so because it's everything is going to be progressive. I hit to batch, and it lists everything in my batch list. Now, I'm going to go back and do the same thing, only this time I'm going to do settings for HD MPEG-4s because I also have to do that. So I'm going to go select the same files in my final folder, hit to batch. Now, I want you to notice this option. If you were selecting multiple uh, files from multiple different like folders and you had to go back multiple times and grab them, you can use this box that says use previous folder and settings. And you just check that and hit OK and it adds all those quick times and it does the same setting that you had just set up and it exports them to the same location that you chose before so that MPEG-4, that MP4 folder. So it's a, it's a really cool uh, tool to use just to speed things up. For this I'm changing the settings so I'm just going to hit OK and not have anything selected. I'm going to select the same location here only now and here I'm going to create a folder called HD. And really I should have created a folder in here called SD for the last batch but I'll just change that later. So HD is where it's gonna, the HD ones are going to be exported. You hit select. Now I'm going to change the uh, data rate to 3000. Okay, audio is already, um, from the, we changed it last time, is still at 128, so that's good. And now I'm going to go up here to unscaled, and that just means it's not going to do any scaling and it's not going to change the dimensions. It's 1920 by 1080, that's how it's going to be. Um, this is already deselected, so we're good. Hit to batch, and it adds those. And the last thing I'm going to do is I also like to, extract the audio from the QuickTime so I have just audio files. And first I will um, make that an AIFF file and then I'll later change that to an MP3 uh, through iTunes. I'll do that MP3. But anyway, so in here I'll create or I'll go and select the same the same QuickTimes again to batch. 
This time I'm gonna change this export to MPEG-4 to export audio. I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna create a new folder in here called AIFF. I'm gonna hit select. And here is my format. Now you, you can choose different settings in here, but I choose the AIFF. Stereo, audio, I just leave everything the same. Two batch, there you go, that's it. You hit go, and it comes up with your little uh, progress bar here. And this could take a while, you know, this could literally take a day because there's so many files in there and they're really long files. Um, so it will take a while, but the, the great thing about it is you can go to sleep, you can go off and do something else, whatever you want to do, uh, and just let it go. So I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. If it was, make sure to like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. And then check back uh, later for more tutorials and tips on Final Cut Pro, Compressor, and Apple Motion. Thanks a lot.